Hey guys, this week we are at Universal Studios Orlando Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras at Universal Orlando is all about bringing the authentic New Orleans feel to a theme park. Mardi Gras does run between February 4th to April 16th this year. In this trip, we only have four days to try food from over 20 booths. Wish us luck. So while we are down here, me and my mom decided to say Universal's Aventura Hotel. This is our second time staying here, and we can admit this is the most common hotel that Universal has. They also have a tablet that you can control the lights, the TV, the temperature, everything on it. And it's pretty cool. So now let's get into some food. Our first stop is the Chocolate Emporium in City Walk. So the Chocolate Emporium did have all sweets tailored to Mardi Gras. We did end up trying the brown one and the green one later on in the video. But the thing that I decided to get here was the Masquerade Milkshake. It has ube ice cream mainly, has sprinkles all around it. And let's just say I wasn't a big fan of it. Taste this actually. <laughs> The first stop in the park was getting our food and beverage cards. We paid 120 for 150 since we are annual pass holders. The first booth is Puerto Rico, and here we decided to get the Mofongo Trio. The wind is going crazy. <laughs> I like that one better. Which one? This one. I rate this whole meal probably like a 7 out of 10. 5 out of 10. What'd you say? 5 out of 10. So the next stop is Spain. I forgot to pour the booth and the menu. But we have the paella mixed up. Which is mainly rice and it has some squid in it and mussels and shrimp. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It would probably be even better if it was hot. Yeah, it's not as hot as it could be. It's not bad at all. Mmm. Mm. But I give this about a uh, eight out of ten. You said eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Definitely recommend this. Now this is the India booth. We ended up getting two different things here. The first thing that we got was the Pop Baji. And the second thing is the Onion Baji. Okay, so first we're trying this one. Kind of puts me in my frame of dresser. Really? <laughs> and hush puppies. Yeah, that's what it's giving me, a hush puppy. But like without the cornbread stuff. I think it's because the outside is like crispy or whatever. It's really good with the sauce. I give it about a 7.5 and a half. I mean, 7.5 out of 10. I do the same, 7.5 out of Okay, so the next one is this one. It's good. It's like beef stew. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it has cinnamon in it too. Yeah. Like it got some, a lot of spices. With the bread, a eight out of 10. Seven. Sorry, a eight out of 10. I give it a nine out of 10. The next booth is Germany, and we decided to get one thing here, and that was chicken schnitzel with Casey Spencer. This is good. It's good. <laughs> the is good. I don't think it's macaroni and cheese, but yes, that's good. <laughs> it smells like macaroni and cheese. Country fried steak. Country fried steak. This what this reminds me of. A nine, a solid nine, if not nine and a half. 
We're back for day two. You ready to eat? Yep. You gonna eat a lot today? I am. <laughs> a lot, lot, just a little lot. Um, a smidge, a smidge. <laughs> So we all know Universal loves putting the Twisted Tater in every event, but we're not too big fans of it, so we're going to go to the next booth, which is the French Quarters, and we got two things here. The first thing that we got was the Jambalaya, as well as the Shrimp Gumbo. It's hot. Like hot, like it burn hot or just spicy? Mm, like burn my tongue hot. Okay. It's good though. The rice doesn't taste all the way done though. Is it crunchy to you? Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything else is good aside from the rice. It just looks crunchy. But, and it, it does have a hint of spiciness to it aside from the heat. Like of it being like burn, tongue burn hot, it does have a hint of heat to it. What you give it? A seven out of ten. I give it about a seven as well. Maybe a six and a half out of ten, six point five out of ten maybe. Cause the rice is just really throwing the whole thing off and it's, it has a lot of rice in it. Moving on to this, you see the little crawfish. I love me some good crawfish. It's not cold. I mean, it's not hot though. It's cold. That's cold. <laughs> the whole thing is cold? Yes. Yeah. I'm giving this a three out of two because it's cold. I can't even enjoy it. I see the potential. It's there. So I'm giving it at least a five. Last year was better. I don't even remember last year. I do. Last year was hot. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it probably was, huh? In the French Quarter as well, we ended up getting a fried green tomato po' boy. As well as a crown cookie. Moving on to Belgium, what I must say was our favorite booth. We had both of the ledge waffles and then we also had the Brussels fright. <laughs> We're gonna try these two. I had the waffle, I mean not waffle house. I hop strawberry pancakes is this. But these have these little um they remind like me of strawberry something. shortcake. Yeah, strawberry shortcake little um what you call it, like crust on it. So it makes it like really good. I give it about a nine out of like, I give it to not saying honestly. To not saying I love sweets and this is good. I this one. I do like that this is hot, so it's not like a weird s'more. 
it go room temperature more because it's not some more that's just boring. I'd get it so eight out of ten. Just because it comes down just because I'm not a big fan of s'mores. I eat them though. But it's it's good though. It's not bad or anything. I give a seven out of ten. So this is the last dish at Belgium. I don't know what these sauces are, but one looks like mustard and one looks like mayo and ketchup, which I think that's what pizza is, it's like mayo and ketchup. These fries are cold. I can just fill my fish. Mmm, I don't like that. This one with the blue like mayo and mustard, I don't like that. I mean mayo or ketchup, I don't like that. That one is a decent. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. No, I don't like neither one of them. It's not for me. I'm just gonna pass it on to her. There you go. Here we now are in Mexico. The first thing that we got is the tacos, el pastel. And then the second thing we got was the elotes. I give it a five out of ten because it, it really isn't anything to write. So <laughs> I'm gonna do a two out of ten. Yeah. All right, time for this. This is really nice. The first bite, I was a little iffy. That's good. I'm gonna have to give it a five out of ten. You don't like it? It's not for me. <laughs> First booth of this day is Brazil. We got the chicken coxinha. We got the brigadeiros trio. We have the pincanha skewers. We have the lingui skewers. Okay, we're gonna try this one first. It tastes like a mozzarella stick to me. <laughs> oh. It's an 8 out of 10 for me. An 8 out of 10. I'm gonna try this one. You like it? I don't think I like fudge. It is very thick. Very thick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I give it this whole thing like a nod I say. It's not bad. And we're gonna try this one. It tastes like a polo sausage. I'm very greasy. It does. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. It looks like it could be made out of maybe cheese. Maybe. It don't really taste like much. No, it doesn't have a taste at all. Yeah. I don't know. It's okay. I, I give about a seven, six out of ten. I give the sausage a eight or nine. It's just too greasy for me. Uh -huh. This looks like the same thing as that. Yeah. Okay. It tastes like something they've put on their food before. Mm -hmm. Like, I, whenever you had something with fries, say something with what, Halloween, I think. Or maybe last year at Mardi Gras. But that tastes very similar. Now, I know I've tasted them here before. Yeah, I know. Yuka fries. fries. Yeah, Yuka fries. <laughs> Yuka fries. It was for Halloween or not? Nice. Yeah. That tastes like the, if you had the Yuka fries, it tastes like that. So it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I give it about a 9 out of 10, maybe an 8. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Now at Trinidad and Tobago, we got three different things. We got the chickpea doubles. The crab and dumplings. As well as the flory. This one first. It's kind of 
never mind. It smells like a pot pie. Yeah, that's good. It's a little spicy, but that's good. I'll get that one. About an eight out of ten. I'm gonna we'll go and just keep it rolling and go to this one. That's hot. This is good too. I'm gonna try a little of this. Okay, so this one. It's like a funnel cake. I'm gonna dip it in this sauce. That's good. A raw. 10 out of 10 boots. Everything is good. In Indonesia, we got the Indonesian style chili crab with fried mantho, as well as the nazi go rim. First, let's put you in the mouth frame of fried rice. Mm -hmm. I get an 8 out of 10. It's not nasty. It's pretty good. So. Same. The egg is good, even though it gets kind of center sunny side up, but then. Yogurt or anything, you don't taste like slimy or anything. So if you like rice, you like this. That is spicy. It's okay, I'll give it a five out of ten. Well, I was gonna give it a ten out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> At the Italy booth, we got the Tour of Italy Artichini Flight. As well as the gelato stuff, pressed brioche and strawberry. Thank you. If you don't like Biden ice cream, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about getting it. You're gonna have to buy some ice cream. Eight out of ten. I only gave it an eight. I only gave it an eight because the ice biting the ice cream hurts my brain and my teeth. First one tastes like mozzarella sticks. So, uh, what you did mozzarella sticks in? Marinara sauce. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> That tastes like gravy. It is gravy. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it is gravy, but um, that's all I'm getting. It's gravy. Mmm, that's something different in it. I like these two. And I think so. Heading over to the Canada booth. We end up getting three things. We got the poutine with short rib gravy. We got the Canadian snowshoe maple. And lastly, we got the Canadian snowshoe Nutella. We're trying this one first. Um, what's his wife, the cheese? Cheese curds. And this is fries. Yes. This gotta be your doing, isn't it? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, it's very savory. Um, it reminds me of something, but I can't quite put my finger on it, but I don't like it. Six, because it's not nasty. I don't think it's not for me, so I give it a six out of ten. I like it. I give it a nine out of ten. Yeah, I see. I just should like it, because I'm like, it tastes like something I've had because of her. Next, we're going to try this one. I'm good. No, no, it's him. That's true. I don't know if it's the bread that's hot or if it's the chocolate that's hot. But something bread burning is made fresh. I'm like, something's burning my hand. Mm. The Nutella is thick. Really, really thick. This is definitely a 10 out of 10. <laughs> I like the one with the Nutella better. I feel like the Nutella is just a little bit too much. I get this one about a seven out of ten. Seven and a half out of ten. Down at the Japan booth, 
we got the onokomiyaki. We also got the Nikuman bun sampler. Okay, you can try this one. Mm. That's good. It tastes like something. So this one. So being that this is day five, our last day, we wanted to hit all the foods that we missed because we were too full to get. So we went right back to Japan the next day and we got the ube waffle, which is one of our favorites from last year in Mardi Gras. I give it about a seven out of ten. It's not nasty. I just feel like compared to what it was last year. And plus, I know, no, like I think it's supposed to look different. Knowing that the ube waffle is so popular at Universal, there are some things that we're missing because I believe they ran out of it. I think they ran out of stuff or whatever. Yeah, I like lashes better. Mm -hmm. I'm giving it a five. Bring back the, the pop candy. Yeah, whatever and it was and the sugar that. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, all that. This ain't that. We still eat it though, so it can't be that bad, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Going back to Puerto Rico, we decided to get the Al Caparitas. Heading over to Central City Food, we decided that we just wanted to get the beignets because we tried most of the food over here last year. So with the beignets, it was about four of them in there. I must say they are kind of flat compared to New Orleans authentic beignets, but they were still good. Heading back over to Spain, we got the Leche Frida. As well as the Spanish Bocadillo. It's like a fried apple. It's pretty good. I give it an 8 out of 10. I'm giving it a 6 out of 10 because I don't like the texture. The outside texture is fine, but I don't like the inside. You know what I'm saying? It tastes like a fried apple, right? Like an apple that you use in apple pie, that apple that's fried. This will taste like. <laughs> Now to rate these, we both agreed that the green one was way better than the chocolate one. The chocolate was very thick and the green one really just tastes like an Oreo, honestly. So that's it for the video guys. We tried a total of 38 items. We ended up spending two of the cars totally and we bought a third one just in case we need a little one. So I highly recommend buying that food and beverage car just to save a little bit of money. And yeah, remember to like this video and subscribe if you want. And thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.